it's it's not an unknown fact that travel as a sector okay was the most impacted uh, and it was kind of an awakening call and um, kind of a reset button i think that we had to do in terms of understanding how we operate business and run our businesses i'm not saying that we were not doing the correct things it's just that what we were doing we pr- primarily had to accelerate certain things and this 3 years actually helped us accelerate that which was that we need to keep our customer at the core uh, whatever we do whether it is in terms of how we run the business how we are introducing new products what kind of an experiences we are doing and even the new products that we are adding is it going to serve my customer well and is this what my customer uh, wants right so in in our company and in my teams i think we we understood that this is what we need to follow and one thing that we have done is we have a three step framework that we have introduced at across the company and also especially in the commercial verticals um and that three step framework is that number one we need to aim high okay when i say we need to aim high this is a repetition of what i just said that we need to know the customers we need to anticipate their demands much in advance uh to before even they tell us i think this is where uh um, the more you understand your customers the more conversations you're having with them you'll be able to connect with them and understand them and anticipate their needs because today customers don't have patience they want quick turnarounds right they want as a brand we are able to have a 24 by 7 conversations with them so if you're not able to do that i think uh then you're lost the game and you're much behind so the first thing the first framework is that we need to aim high which means understand the customer what he wants and know what he wants even before he's told you about it um about it number 2 is uh looking forward i mean aiming high is good but how are you going to anticipate it right that means you have to look forward when you look forward which in our company ethos means that you need to have the tools you need to have uh the systems that support you or are able to use to get, anticipate the customer needs you are able to say, so, uh, i mean you're able to understand their needs better so that's where the second framework is when we look forward that means we have the right adoption of tools and technologies and resources which help us anticipate their needs so hence uh, in our company we are working with a lot of new age startups a um, lot of technology firms a uh, lot of customer data platforms who are actually co-creating products with us today so that we are able uh, to really have the data insights um, to help serve the customer the third bit is um which is i mean given is move fast uh, as an organization we i wouldn't say we are 100% there because i think there are a lot of dependency especially when you have multi businesses you have multi verticals um uh, you, there's a lot of coordination that is required but there's no taking away that we need to be very nimble and we need to have very fast go to markets and in order to do that again it comes back to my second point which is my second framework that we need to have the right tools technologies uh, which can and and systems right uh, resources as well and the talent too which can help us to anticipate the needs get the data in and then uh, serve it out uh, create meaningful insights so that we have some very actionable points to serve our customers and anticipate their needs i think uh, this is the three step framework and a strategy framework that our company works on everything else that we do it gets tied in into these three right whether we want to adopt new tools whether we want to introduce technology whether we want to change the business models introduce more products um everything ties into this three step framework and uh, this is the strategy that we adopt in the commercial side of our business to grow mm-hmm.